Hello traders, welcome back to Pips Traders YouTube channel. Thank you for your continuous support to my channel. Today in this video, we are going to be doing daily technical analysis in gold. Let us look at the current trend of the market and support and resistance levels for today. Before that, let us look at economic event calendar. So today is Friday 22nd. When we look at the medium impact in news at 11.30 am, this is Indian Standard Time. We have medium impacting news for British Pound and at 12.45 pm we have medium impacting news on Euro currency pairs and then 1 pm we have high impacting news on Euro currency pairs. Again at 2 pm we have medium impacting news on British Pound related currency pairs. Again 6 pm we have medium impacting news on Canadian dollar coming up. Again at 6.30 pm we have euro related currency pairs medium impacting news and 7.15 pm we have medium impacting news on US dollar currency pairs. Again at 8 pm we have high impact news on British pound currency pairs. So plan your today's trade based on this economic calendar schedules. Let us begin our gold analysis. So I am in daily time frame now. In daily time frame, I have already drawn the support line over here. So we can clearly notice that previously the price action has taken support on this trend line and it is still trading above this trend line or support line. So the current trend of the market is still in a bullish trend. So when we look at the support and resistance level within this bullish trend. So these are all going to be the resistance and support levels. And when we look at the major price action for today. It is still trading between this resistance level of 1963 and support level of 1941. And previously it was on a downtrend, then it went on a bullish trend, took resistance on the resistance level of 1941, then took support on the previous support level of 1915, then went on a bullish trend, and now it has taken support on this trend line and the previous support level of 1940. So if the price action doesn't break this support level, we can expect a bullish trend reversal and to retest on the first level of resistance which is going to be around 1986. Only when the price action breaks this resistance level, we can expect the price to go and test the next level of resistance which is going to be around 2005. So we are already seeing an indecision candle being formed today. Let us wait and see if it is going to be a bullish candle or a bearish candle. And when we look at the overall price action, this area has been acting as a very strong support and resistance zone in the past. So if there is no bad news on Ukraine Russia war, we can expect the price action to trade within this range. And if the price action breaks this support level, we can expect a bearish retracement to start in daily time frame. And only when the price action breaks this support level of 1915, we can expect a bearish trend reversal to start in daily time frame. Till then, it will only be a retracement to the previous low. This trend line will help you to decide on whether to take a bullish side trade or a bearish side trades. So when the price action breaks this trend line, you can take trades on the bearish side. And if the price action bounces back from this trend line, you can take trades on the bullish side. Let us do the analysis in hourly time frame. I am in hourly time frame now. Here in hourly time frame also I have drawn a trend line or resistance line. We can clearly notice that price action was in a very nice downtrend and it has taken support on the previous support level of 1940 and this level had acted as a very strong support level in the past also and it had acted as a resistance level in the past also. Currently we are noticing the price action taking support and bouncing back on the bullish trend reversal. So next level of resistance in hourly time frame is going to be around 1963. Let us mark the support and resistance levels for hourly time frame. So the values in blue color boxes are the support and resistance levels for hourly time frame. Currently the price action has broken this trend line and it is on a bullish trend. Wait for it to break the previous high in order to get the confirmation on the bullish trend reversal. It is still stuck within this previous resistance level of 1952. Let us do the analysis in 30 minutes time frame. 
I'm in 30 minutes time frame now as I explained in the hourly time frame previously the price action was in a very nice bullish trend and took resistance on the hourly time frame resistance line and had a bearish trend reversal and it formed similar to one double bottom pattern and it is on a retracement so if it is a confirmation on the double bottom pattern the resistance level will be around 1958 so we can expect the price action to retrace and to test this resistance level of 1958 then we can expect a bearish trend reversal only when the price action breaks this resistance level it will be a bullish trend and next level of resistance is going to be around 1963 let us mark the support and resistance levels for 30 minutes time frame so these are all the resistance and support levels for 30 minutes time frame currently the price action is trading between the resistance level of 1954 and support level of 1951 this level had been acting as a very strong resistance level in the past also so if the price action doesn't break this resistance level we can expect a bearish trend reversal and to retest on the previous support level of 1939 from the higher time frame only when the price action breaks the daily time frame trend line or support line we can expect a bearish trend reversal in 30 minutes time frame also let us do the analysis in 5 minutes time frame i am in 5 minutes time frame now when we look at the price action in 5 minutes time frame from this level it started falling on a bearish trend reversal and took support on the higher time frame support level of 1940 and bounced back on the bullish trend reversal again it bounced back from the resistance line from the hourly time frame again it couldn't break the support level from the higher time frame and bounced back on the bullish trend reversal so when we look at the price action it formed double bottom pattern and have retraced 100% to the level where it started its bearish trend reversal currently the price action is trading on a sideways it has to break the neck level of double bottom pattern in order to fall further on the bearish trend reversal let us mark the support and resistance levels for 5 minutes time frame these are all going to be the resistance and support levels for 5 minutes time frame currently the price action is trading between the resistance level of 1954 and support level of 1950 wait for it to give a directional breakout based on which you can take a directional trade we have come to the end of today's analysis thank you for watching this video if you have found this video to be useful press that like button and share this video with your friends